This channel is not dead. In fact, we just hit 400,000 subscribers. Boom! Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, TigerFitness.com, bringing back all the stuff from the past. Guys, in 2011, my business partner, Chad Vordameshi, told me we should start a YouTube channel because at that time, Google acquired YouTube and YouTube was essentially going to become Google for video, which meant that we can promote Tiger Fitness on YouTube. This was in 2011. 2011, in September of 2011 is when we had this conversation. Fast forward, it is 2022. That's 11 years. We finally hit 400,000 subscribers. We've been through many phases. Before I get going on this video... I want to tell you that to celebrate this, at tigerfitness.com, we have an order boom. There is no coupon code necessary. We've never done this before. Order $50, period. Order over $50 in product. Whatever you want to do. If you want to order MTS Way, Insurgent, any other brand, whatever, order $50. We give you a free full-size product. Probably around a $30 to $50 value, of not a sample, full-size product, and a free shaker. Again, it's going on Friday through Sunday this weekend. Let's go down memory lane. So the first video I did myself was an Oxy Elite Pro video. I reviewed Oxy Elite Pro on what appeared to be a potato phone. I was standing in our bedroom in our house in Burlington, North Carolina, against a beige wall and just talking about the formula. Looked up, next thing you know, we had tens of thousands of views. And my partner, Chad's like, dude, you got to keep doing these. So then I went on to review Muscle Tech. I went on to review Respar- Gaspari. When we launched MTS Way, I went on to actually talk about our products. Now, I had no intention of it ever becoming a channel about me. I wanted to simply review products and give people my insight and knowledge on supplements because I just literally started and sold Cyvation, a company that went from zero to tens of millions of dollars, and we pioneered the intra-workout category. We had products anywhere from test boosters to fat burners. We, we literally created categories at that brand, and I sold it, and I was on, and I'm like, hey, let's have some fun, and let's build some brands. So as I started going, people started noticing on Facebook and such that I was training and I was actually at the time competing. So I got a lot of requests. This is around 2012. And I ended up getting my pro card in NABA in 2013 to document my training and my diet. And that's when I started doing the training videos, which again, were were filmed on what appears to be a potato or some kind of a root vegetable with a lens. And everything was terrible. But at that time, when I started, there was Scooby, the Hodge twins, Louis Marco, and um, shoot, I think that was it, and me. After that, Mike Rashid, C.T. Fletcher, all those guys started Chris Jones, and then we had the Cool Physiques of Greatness and Big J. We had all those collaborations. I collaborated with the Hodge twins, Ian McCarthy, hating on people. Love that guy now. Um, Jason Blaha, hating on people. Like We had such a, and obviously, rest in peace, Jerry Ward. We had such an eclectic group of awesome people. Matt Ogis, Chris Lovato, all these people, just amazing people. We're all friends now. Uh, Blaha, I can't say we're friends, but at least he doesn't do a video a week on how much I suck. If vegan gains came in, like think about the nostalgia of this and how awesome it's been. You know, I did collaboration with everywhere from Cali Muscle to the Hodge Twins to Phil Heath to Kai Green. And it's been such a ride. And we've sustained a lot. Like I've maintained putting out an average of three to seven videos a week. And a lot of people don't even know here. A lot of my subscribers might not even watch YouTube anymore. Because if you subscribed in 2011, you might not even lift anymore. But you didn't, you didn't delete your YouTube, um, your YouTube subscription. So I'm averaging about a thousand new subscribers a month. But a lot of my older subscribers, they've moved on. They've fallen off. In fact, When I get stopped in public by people, it's usually people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and even 60s because they started watching YouTube back in 2011, 2012, and they grew up with YouTube fitness, but they've since moved on. 
and they've had kids and they've gone on. And even I've moved on where I'm less screaming, less cursing, less ranting, and more teaching you how to train your kids, more doing videos about overall health, wellness, and training videos just don't do as well. So I'll do shorts here and there, but it's been one hell of a run, one hell of a run. And I wanted to thank everybody for being here along, but you see people say your subs are, are garbage. And for some videos they are, for some, they go really high. I've gotten a couple 50 to hundred thousand views here and there, but there's new guys in town, man. There's the new school who are doing extremely well. I'm extremely happy for them. The Greg Doucette's, the more plates, more dates, you know, all those other guys who are absolutely crushing it on YouTube fitness, Larry wheels, like these are the new school, but I'm still here for people who want to see my content. I'm still here for people who want, you know, maybe more fitness advice for shredded dads. You know, I have this movement, shredded dads, you know, the, uh, the dad bod squad. And, you know, we, we actually, as you know, from the videos I've been putting up lately, you know, we have Bryce Beal and I, uh, we own a facility called legacy at carbon in Franklin, Tennessee. So we do a lot of stuff on youth training on how to make kids bigger, faster, stronger, more resilient to injuries. So you're going to see those videos a lot. You're going to see my training a lot, a lot of videos on kids. You're also going to see some drama here and there. I'll call out people who are scam artists. I'll call out people, you know, who I feel are doing a disservice to the industry. But at the end of the day, this channel is not dead. It's just evolved. And my views have sustained even a shadow ban. So in 2020, I did a video on a certain vitamin that might have the letter D in it in March. And my views literally went from five to 10,000 a video down to 700. So I went through a YouTube shadow ban in 2020. And this is before we even called it the C word. We called it the Mexican beer word. And I simply went off of data that was actually extrapolated from flu data where the, this vitamin that might have the letter D in it, you know, it actually outperformed the, the flu jibby jab it outperformed it many years because the flu shot is basically a guess. They guess what strain it's going to be. Sometimes it's 10% effective. Sometimes it's 50. So I was like, Hey, based on this data, you probably should take some vitamin and it might have the letter D in it. And, um, next thing you know, I'm shadow banned and that really sucked and it really hurt the growth of this channel. But at the end of the day, guys, let me be completely honest with you. You know, I'm very fortunate that I don't pay my bills with social media. I do this for fun and because I like educating people. You know, I wake up every morning and my mind's flowing and I want to get information out there. Yesterday, Bryce and I really want to talk about sport specific training, really want to talk about CrossFit for athletes. So we did a video and whether 500 people or 5 million people watch that video, I want those people to be helped. I mean, at the end of the day, my worst video will get a thousand views. That's a thousand people who I might have helped that day. And that that's freaking awesome. That's what I wake up for. You know, I don't wake up to, to make millions and millions of dollars. And I like making millions and millions of dollars, but I start every day as, as thinking to myself, one, how can I be a better husband and father? And two, how can I help people? And then comes, what can I do for my businesses? What can I do for, you know, my companies? What can I do for, for everybody? So my goal is to help people. My number one goal is to help kids. My number two goal is to help everyone. And I put kids on a separate plane, a separate plane because kids are the future. And I just love coaching kids. It's my goal. It's my passion. But anyway, the Tiger Fitness channel is not dead. It's here to stay. And I plan on going from five videos a week, which is what I'm currently uh, doing. I plan on getting it up to seven full videos, including, and, and that's not including the shorts and the posts. And that way, if you see a topic that interests you, click on it. If you don't like the topic, don't click on it. But I'm going to give you options that help you reach your goals. So what I need you to do is click on the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video. And again, just to surmise, we do have a sale going on Friday through Sunday. It's going to be celebrating the 400,000 subscribers. It's the order boom. So you order $50 of supplements and or whatever. You can order supplements, shirts, just an order over $50. Breath belts, like we got belts, we got shirts, we got, you don't even have to order supplements. Oh, supplements don't work. Okay, cool. Order clothes. We got it all at Tiger Fitness. Anyway, go to tigerfitness.com, $50. You don't need a coupon or anything. We automatically give you a free random product. It's going to be about a $30 to $50 value. And we'll also give you a free shaker. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. God bless all y'all. Thank you for being alongside me for this growth. Um, Again, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click, be sure to click on the notification bell. And of course, follow me on Instagram at Mark Lobliner. 
That's not a game. Training intensity is everything. If you want to build muscle, if you want to get better, if you want to go hard, you need to train intense. A lot of pre-workouts, they get you intense. But then what happens? You crash. A lot of pre-workouts, they give you the pump. But then what happens? It wears off. A lot of pre-workouts, they'll give you all that stuff, but it doesn't add to your endurance. I want to be able to lift heavy. I want to be able to feel the pump. I want veins bulging from every single part of my body. I want to lift heavier weights every single time. I want to run farther. I want to run faster. I want to push harder. And I want to get bigger, stronger, and faster. And that's why I created Clash 3D. This pre-workout is next level, featuring 3D pump, VasoDrive AP, and a lot of other epic ingredients. Guys, this is the pre-workout that you need to take your workouts and your performance and your physique to the next level.